Today will be a quick update on my uh, hydroponic system, my two hydroponic system, uh, the LED pot. Uh, one is uh, in a lower humidity at work and the other one is at my house with a slightly higher humidity and uh, we'll see how they evolve and what I'm growing in it, what it looks like and uh, it can maybe give you some ideas. Okay, we'll start by the one that is at work. So uh, it's doing great. Um, yeah, look at that. Everything is uh, doing great. Uh, it's really surprising because that's maybe 40% humidity uh, because of the AC or the furnace. But uh, yeah, the pitcher are great, great peristome. There is some uh, nectar gland also. So this uh, Nepenthes is uh, doing great. And I selected this uh, clone because it was a slow grower. You don't want the fast grower here. Uh, Pinguicula weather, as always, like uh, this is a no-brainer. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, it's multiplying all the time. Same here. That's uh, Pinguicula siglosecta. Same. It's uh, multiplying. Uh, you have what you put one plant, and then you end up with uh, like like this one, three, at least. I could separate them, but oh yes, and it's uh, Moramensis. This one, I believe. I don't remember. That's why I do na name tag. Yeah, so the leaves are great, it's not burned because I raised the the light. It was getting uh, cooked a little bit, but uh, you don't want that uh, to be too high. Uh, oh, there is a picture here. Yeah, too low light uh, won't please uh, the other plants, but too much will burn the Nepenthes. So you have to find the sweet spot. But uh, yeah, doing great. As always, the best pitcher is hiding on the back. You know exactly what I mean. Oh yes, and the uh, sun sphagnum died. Uh, it's normal, I mean. Oh yes, here. You see this? Utricularia sondersoni, or sondersonii maybe. That's the little rabbit. Uh, yeah, it's doing its thing, uh, slowly taking over the sphagnum moss and I have a bunch on the back also some here yes here so that's pretty cool what else do I have yes sphagnum looking good as always oh yes the drosera uh, binata uh, fantastic he's doing great it's catching a lot of fungus gnat I love it and I was uh, out of work for a month and my friend Avi uh, put some water once a week and everything is happy and healthy uh, when I'm back. So uh, that's the proof you don't need to know anything about uh, caribou plants to grow them with this setup. So now let's see the one at home. So here there is more, uh, oh yes, souvenir from Mexico. So on this one, that's the bigger one. There is a lot of uh, pod, more pod. Here, uh, yes, the sphagnum dries also from time to time. It's hard to tell if it's too hot during summer or because, yeah, because some other sphagnum are doing fantastic. So it's strange for me to see some doing fantastic and others uh, dying, but overall the center is doing fantastic. And yes, it dries on the side. So what can I, oh yes, I added a new guest here. So Eliomphora minor, I decided to give it a go and uh, it's doing great, it's liking it. Uh, it was recommended by uh, a subscriber, but I don't remember who, so I'm very sorry, but that was a great idea. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the Drosera again, it's just super sticky and uh, yeah, that's the one that is almost doing the, the best. So what else do we have? Um, yes. Uh, oh yes, so it's it, it started to multiply itself and it's pointing on the light. Uh, yeah, they are taking over. Uh, oh yes, a tiny Sondersoni here. 
and uh, some other uh, the weather weather sorry uh, yeah I don't it's almost the same species Siglosecta and the other one so it's depending of where they are they react differently I don't know why but uh, yeah that's uh, oh yes the Drosera capensis uh, Hercule something doing great also it, the mother plant was not doing great but then I did some cuttings and uh, now it's doing better and there is another one uh, Drosera something I don't remember the name tag but uh, yeah the good surprise is actually the Dialeophora and it's a minor so it won't go crazy tall so for now it's doing great and it's a north facing window so never sunlight and uh, quite cold especially during winter uh, that reminds me maybe during winter i will uh, do another flu up and here is the settings uh, in in case uh, you want or oh, i need to put some water uh, but uh, yeah that's pretty much it if you grow some carnivorous plants in your hydroponic system, uh, please tell me uh, in the comments what kind of uh, species that you are growing and uh, if they are doing great or not that uh, great. So uh, we all learn from each other and uh, hopefully more people grow their plants with this uh, system because that's really uh, an easy plug and play way to grow carnivorous plants.